doing that, could you? I suppose technically you could. I... I'd take all the romance out of it, though, wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? Something less controversial. Oh, yes, the end of the world. And now, some, some people think that the war in the Middle East, they think war in the Middle East, sign of the apocalypse. Now, I don't want to rain on your parade, but there's been a war in the Middle East for about 5,000 years. There's always war in the Middle East. The Middle East and war are kind of like, they go to bacon and eggs. That's what happens out there. There is war in the Middle East. When there's, if, if there's ever peace in the Middle East, that's the time to start going, hey, what's going on? If ever they come out and say, we of Al-Qaeda have decided no more jihad. Everybody jihug. Jihug. <laughs> then, yes, jihug. I said it. <laughs> then there'll be a problem. You know, there's always doomsday prophets, though, aren't there? Everybody always, you know, it's the end of the world, the end of the world. Chicken Little, the Eve is one, the sky is falling. <laughs> I, he was almost right. Remember the hole in the sky, the ozone layer? Remember that hole in the ozone layer? And, it, and it's gone now, apparently. <laughs> you know, my theory is it never existed in the first place. I don't, I don't, how can there be a hole in something that you can't see? <laughs> The hole in the ozone, it's a myth. It's like Bigfoot, the, the Loch Ness Monster, the moon landing, the <laughs> evolution. Uh, we're not sure about that when you say that. Whose side are you on, you bastard? Uh, I don't know. You know what I, I do? You know what? I, I love movies about the end of the world. I don't know why, but they cheer me up. I, I like... Now, I've never been in a disaster movie. I've been in a few mo movies that ended up, you know... <laughs> but they didn't start that way. Let us not forget, I was in the CBS movie Vampire Bats. <laughs> yes. And I tried to tell them at the time, people like vampires. They don't want vampire bats. <laughs> they were like, no, no, vampire bats. No, va nobody cares about vampire bats. It's, it's... People want vampires, they want sexy tramps with the bosoms and the teeth, like... Oh. <laughs> That's what people want. They don't want some flying rat. Who cares? Like, oh, I want to drink your blood. Look at these boobies. I want to drink your blood. That's what people want. No, who cares? Oh, a vampire bat. Oh, a tennis racket. Boom. You know, come on. <laughs> Never do that, kids. No, don't. The, uh, you know what, the, a lot of the end of the world movies, the robots take over the planet. Uh, that, I don't know if that would necessarily be a bad thing, though, if the robots, you would never have a robot whining about their weight or being lactose intolerant or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> you'd never, you'd definitely never have a robot saying, sorry, I drank too much oil. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I drank too much oil and said bad things about Jewish robots. <laughs> You never get a robot doing that. I'd say give robots a chance, I say. Give the robots a chance. Some of them are very efficient and entertaining. Look at the prices, right? <laughs> yeah. The price is right. The Bob Barkatron 5000. The Barkatron 5... They don't build them like that anymore. That is the last of the steam-driven robots right there. <laughs> He'll smash up this set as well, if I say that, wouldn't he? If I, he'll, he'll come up here and... Now, in California, we think that the apocalypse for us may be in the form of an earthquake. That's what we think. There may be an earthquake here. And they say that the dogs can't predict earthquakes. Now, I think if the dogs can let us know when they want to have a pee-pee, <laughs> shouldn't they tell us when they think there's going to be an earthquake? I'm much more interested in that. Uh, excuse me. Um, uh, uh, there's a 7.5 earthquake coming. Right. Oh, what's the deal with Mel Gibson? Huh? 